Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today I will analyze the case of the 2024 YR4 asteroid. First I'll look at the background of this case, including the timeline of the incident, then offer my analysis. On December 27, 2024, a worrisome asteroid called 2024 YR4 was spotted by the Chilean station of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS. This is a network of four telescopes around the world that scan space for near-Earth objects. 2024 YR4 completes one orbit around the Sun every 3.99 years. Two days earlier, on Christmas Day, it came within 515,000 miles of Earth. To put that in perspective, this is just over two times the distance between Earth and the Moon. As of January 31, 2025, 2024 YR4 was about 30 million miles from Earth. By April 2025, optical telescopes based on Earth will lose track of the asteroid. It will come back into view of Earth-based telescopes in June 2028. The exact size of 2024 YR4 is unknown. The diameter must be estimated based on how much light is reflected by the asteroid. In general, the brighter an asteroid, the larger it is. The problem is that scientists do not know how reflective this asteroid is. They estimate that the asteroid is between 130 and 300 feet in diameter. Radar can determine a more accurate estimate of the diameter when the asteroid passes by the Earth again on December 17, 2028. But even then, it will not be a good estimate. The asteroid will only come within 4.7 million miles of Earth, which is kind of far away to be assessed by radar. A decent estimate of the diameter will not be available until the fall of 2032, when 2024 YR4 passes by the Earth again. It is possible that the James Webb Telescope, which can detect infrared light, could produce a quality estimate of the diameter prior to that. After the asteroid passes by the Earth in 2028, it will once again orbit the Sun, but the next time it returns, in 2032, it could slam into the planet Earth. This is why I referred to it as worrisome earlier. Astronomers estimate that the asteroid has a 2.3% chance of striking the planet on December 22, 2032. There is a 0.3% chance the asteroid will strike the Moon. Impact with the Earth would be problematic considering the size of the asteroid, even if the low end diameter estimate is correct. The impact location is predicted to be along a corridor that runs near the equator. On one side of the impact path, there is the Eastern Pacific Ocean. On the other side, South Asia. Countries that could be affected by the asteroid include Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Sudan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India. The force of the impact may be equivalent to 8 million tons of TNT, or 8 megatons. This is 500 times as powerful as the atomic bomb named Little Boy, which was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. In that bombing, 70,000 people were killed instantly, and thousands more would die later. The blast damage from the 2024 YR4 impact will extend for about 30 miles from the impact site. If the asteroid hits the ocean, it could cause a tsunami which would wipe out coastal areas. However, striking a populated area on land would be much worse. If the asteroid impact site was in India, for example, there could be a tremendous loss of life, perhaps hundreds of millions of people. At the time I'm making this video, resources around the globe are being mobilized to study 2024 YR4 and figure out how to eliminate any risk of impact. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one. A 2.3% chance of an asteroid impact may not seem that concerning. However, any object with more than a 1% probability of striking Earth is taken seriously. The UN has activated an emergency protocol for the protection of the planet. Even if 2024 YR4 misses the Earth as expected, there are tens of thousands of other asteroids which could represent a problem in the future. Since 1990, over 33,000 near-Earth asteroids have been discovered and tracked. At some point, someone's going to have to find a way to change the path of an asteroid which is on a collision course with Earth. Progress has already been made in this area. For instance, in 2022, NASA successfully rammed a spacecraft into an asteroid 
which changed the path of the asteroid significantly. This technique is called the kinetic impactor. Unfortunately, it is the only proven method scientists have been able to develop so far. Item number two, scientists assess the danger level of an asteroid using the Torino Impact Hazard Scale, which ranges from one to 10. A score of one is nothing to worry about. The chances of a deadly impact are just about zero. 10, on the other hand, is bad news. A collision is guaranteed and may destroy human civilization. 2024 YR4 is at level three on the Torino scale, which is currently higher than any other asteroid. Item number three, after it is determined that an asteroid will strike the Earth, there are four primary variables used to assess the dangerousness of that impact. Velocity, size, composition, and impact angle. If 2024 YR4 strikes the Earth, it will do so traveling at about 38,000 miles per hour. As I mentioned, the diameter is estimated as being 130 to 300 feet. Based on its composition and impact angle, the asteroid will probably explode in the sky as opposed to leaving a crater in the ground. In 1908, a 130-foot asteroid exploded in a remote area of Siberia. This diameter matches the low-end estimate of 2024 YR4. The effect of this explosion was devastating. It destroyed 80 million trees across 770 square miles. Just to put that in perspective, Los Angeles is 469 square miles and New York City is 302 square miles. If the asteroid had exploded over a city, the casualties would have been significant. In 2013, another area of Russia was struck by an asteroid. This one was only 66 feet in diameter. It injured 1,000 people and damaged 7,000 structures. Not knowing the exact size of 2024 YR4 is quite problematic as far as estimating the damage it could cause. There is a massive difference between an asteroid with a diameter of 130 feet and one with a diameter of 300 feet. The volume of a spherical asteroid can be calculated using the formula 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. This means that a 300 foot wide asteroid is about 11 times larger in volume than one measuring 130 feet. 2024 YR4 has been nicknamed the City Destroyer. This characterization is accurate. Item number four, considering the potential danger that 2024 YR4 poses, should people panic as 2032 approaches? Based on a few reasons, there is no need to panic. For example, there is a 97.7% chance that the asteroid will not strike the Earth. Just to put that in perspective, this probability is less than the probability of flipping a coin five times and getting heads each time. Even if it is determined that the asteroid will collide with the Earth, scientists may be able to knock it off course by ramming a spacecraft into it. As I mentioned, this is the kinetic impactor technique. If this fails, the area of impact, which will be known precisely months in advance, can be evacuated. This may be really inconvenient, especially if the impact site is a major city, but this strategy will prevent the loss of life. Item number five, I answered the question, should people panic? But what about the question, will people panic? If scientists update the probability to reflect a significant risk of impact, I believe there will be a substantial level of unwarranted panic among a small portion of the population. Doomsday preppers, in particular, are vulnerable to anxiety when contemplating large-scale disasters. It doesn't take much for this group to have a strong reaction, so an asteroid impact will certainly motivate them. They are efforts to stockpile supplies like weapons, food, fuel, and medical supplies will increase dramatically as 2032 approaches. There have been many movies which have reinforced the type of thinking demonstrated by doomsday preppers. For example, Armageddon, Deep Impact, Day After Tomorrow, Walking Dead, I Am Legend, and the Mad Max movies. Doomsday preppers have a number of characteristics that make them vulnerable to excessive preparation for the apocalypse. For instance, they are fatalistic, pessimistic, fearful, interpret benign stimuli as signals of doom, are significantly more likely to believe in conspiracy theories, and have feelings of powerlessness. Looking at the five-factor model, they can be anywhere on openness to experience, but tend to be high in conscientiousness, low in extroversion, low in agreeableness, 
and high neuroticism. People with the same personality profile, whether they are doomsday preppers or not, would be more vulnerable to apocalypse-induced panic, mostly due to the elevated neuroticism. Despite causing strong feelings for a few people, I think the effect of the asteroid, if it were to impact Earth, will be minimal as far as panic. The greatest inconvenience for the larger population will probably be restricted to toilet paper shortages caused by hoarding. This behavior gained popularity during the COVID-19 pandemic. Toilet paper executives could turn the asteroid strike into a golden age of profit. It's likely that the majority of people will remain calm. They might even view the asteroid impact like a solar eclipse on steroids. Like people will travel from all over the world to see the asteroid explode above the ground or impact the ground, depending on what it does. A few Instagram influencers may even get close to the impact site and risk being vaporized. If the authorities are not careful about protecting the blast area, there might be entire fields full of charred selfie sticks. Item number six, when looking around the internet to see how people have reacted to the news of 2024 YR4, I was not surprised to discover a high level of apathy. Many people, some of whom were certainly joking, welcome the idea of an asteroid strike due to their pessimism about how things are going in the world. It's like the other end of the spectrum from doomsday preppers. These people are not worried about being annihilated. They welcome the apocalypse. For the small group who are looking for an asteroid-facilitated global reset, they may have to wait a while. Generally, world-ending asteroids need to be at least 1,000 feet in diameter. The next opportunity for an impact by a qualifying asteroid will not occur until September 2182, when a 1,600-foot-wide asteroid will have a 1 in 2,700 chance of slamming into the planet with an explosion equal to 1,200 megatons of TNT. Those eagerly awaiting the end times may have to look elsewhere for complete global destruction. There's always a chance that a cataclysmic toilet paper shortage revolt will sneak up on humanity from behind and wipe them out. Those are my thoughts on the 2024 YR4 asteroid. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.